guys hope you guys are doing well in this video i'll be sharing an unboxing of my new sailor christmas pudding pro gear slim but first i wanted to announce stationery pals giveaway winner congratulations to jennifer park you are the winner of the stationery set and don't forget you can always use my discount code TOXMOT for 18% off items on Station Pals website. Thank you so much to everyone for entering and let's get on with the video. Was this a planned purchase? Heck no, I didn't even know this pen was being released. I was just browsing online on a Saturday morning and lo and behold there it was. A sparkly green pen cap, an espresso body with a light caramelly midsection. What better yet, the name was Christmas Pudding. I have had this pen now for about two weeks. It was sitting on my desk waiting to be unboxed for a week. And then I finally unboxed it and have been using it all this week. The only thing I'm missing is the Christmas Tea Time ink that was released alongside this pen. I purchased this pen at Wonder Pens, but unfortunately they did not have the ink available at the time of purchase and I was told that they did not leave it listed on the website because they only received very little. So I currently have this one inked up with, with a KWZ cappuccino and it's very very nice in this pen. Look at all those sparkles. I have to say that when I saw this pen, I just instantly fell for it. I just, I don't know, like, I just love green and just the theme Christmas pudding. Like, I can't resist. It's just, I don't even think I've had Christmas pudding before. Um, it's basically like this cake looking like dessert and yeah I, I it's very clear where they got the colors from I really love this nib section that it's not translucent uh, you guys know if you've seen my previous video that I've had I was having a little trouble with my sailor uh, nuts um, there's some ink that got into the, the, the nib section so I had to clean that out but I'm glad this one is not translucent so that's a plus and here I am, I'm just choosing a color. The notebook is the Galen Leather A5 Cosmo Air Light Notebook. And yeah, so I just wanted to go with a brown toned ink. I do have plans to get uh, the Sailor Christmas Tea Time. It's like this red Christmassy looking, it's a very nice red. And I just can't wait to um, finally try that and ink it up with the official ink color um, i still need to get my hands on it but eventually i will and for now i'm just going to be using brown ink because i just love all the brown inks and yeah so it's just you know the usual that comes with the packaging and um so i'm just inking it up here but i decided to do it the hard way and instead of inking up the pen directly through the nib i just decided to use a syringe and um put the ink into the comforter just so <laughs> i wouldn't dirty up my nib section so yeah that's what i decided to do and yeah it, it's very minimal waste and didn't have to worry about wiping off the ink on the nib or or the section this sailor writes so smoothly right out of the box just like all my other sailor pens this is actually only my third sailor um so i actually forgot to flush the nib first before inking up but thankfully there was no obstructions in the feed like dust um, i haven't had any issues with my sailor nibs and uh yeah so that's what you get with sailor so far from my experience uh, it is a 14k gold nib and it is a bit soft and springy and I love it. It produces the perfect amount of feedback yet feels very smooth on paper. So I'm just doing some writing test on Tomo River paper. This notebook is from Goulet Pens. I 
I was not supposed to buy another pen, but that just went out the window. I've missed all the fountain pen day deals from previous years. And this year, I just, I don't know, I just couldn't let this one go. But then I saw other ones and there was a deal. So I might have ordered a few more pens, including a Koweiko and a Bennu pen. So I apologize if this is turning into more of like a haul channel, but I promise you it is not. Um, but I don't know, I guess I just made up for all the years I didn't do or take part in the fountain pen day deals. So this year I just, I mean, I didn't spend like a crazy amount, but definitely, uh, definitely uh, passed my budget. But who can resist this Christmas pudding? Uh, the colors of this pen really tie in with the theme and I feel like the sparkles really do bring the Christmas festivities to the pen. The only downside, as I said, is the price. Um, although this is an expensive pen, it is one of the more affordable sailor options. Sailor pens can easily cost 500 plus, um, especially for the limited editions. It is not the pen body itself that you are investing in, but more so the gold nib. Sailor pens are just very lightweight compared to other fountain pens. I can't speak about their other pens because my experience with Sailor is limited to their professional Pro Gear Slim pens. Um, I haven't tried the rest. So all in all, uh, Sailor is just one of my favorite, if not my most favorite fountain pen brand. I really like capping my pens. So um, a lot of the pens I do get, they are really nice to cap. And I do prefer also lighter pens, um, meaning like lightweight. And this pen is just so comfortable. It fits perfectly while capped in my hand and so easy to write with. So if you're thinking about getting this Christmas pudding, and I know some of you are, I would totally recommend it if you already know that you like Sailor nibs. Uh, this would be a great addition to your Sailor collection. And I know that I do not regret getting this pen and seriously, they have to stop coming out with so many limited editions because I definitely can't keep up. But luckily, I am pretty picky about my pens and they have to be like a specific color if I'm getting like a limited edition. And I don't want to be a collector. I am more of a user. So... Hope this video helped you out if you're on the fence and yeah I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and I will catch you guys next time in my video thank you for watching bye